guys welcome back to my channel my name is valentino in today's lesson you will learn how to design a birthday flyer in photoshop so what you are seeing on the screen that's what we are working on today and i will embed all the uh, link to all the resources i use for this tutorial so that you download the letter and use it for your own project so let's get started so the first thing you, you are going to do is to create your workspace so let's create our first let's, let's create our work, work, yeah, workspace go to file new so i'll be using 10 by 10 inches you can leave it leave this to black you understand so there is no other setting here just do just set your own as you are seeing it here so you just let's change the name the flyer so let's create our workspace has been created so let's import background and pictures go to file place embedded you drag and drag to feed this thing so if your own background has this simply go to these two this um past two if you, if you can't see it right click on this uh, icon sometimes it will be here so right click on this icon past two then come here, draw it here. Once you draw it, right click. Okay, let's let's uh, rasterize this layer so that we'll be able to do something on this. Understand? Mm -hmm. This object must be rasterized before proceeding. So, if you can, if you didn't do it like this, you can simply go here, rasterize. So once once you are done with it, then let's remove this. Once, once you have drawn this on this happy birthday, then right click on it, fill, content away, make sure this is selected, make sure it is like this, hit OK. Allow it to process. Good. It's OK now. So, I want this to be to be uh, at the right side so let's change it ctrl t to transform right click feed flip horizontal this is okay so let's import our picture let's embed it drag to fit enter so convert this background to smart object i click on it convert to smart object so that because i want to apply motion blur on this background in case you want to change it like that is why you are putting this smart smart object so that you, it will be easy to edit at any time understand so go to once you have, you have, you have once you have converted it to smart object go to file blur motion blur i think this is okay leave it at 252 253 yeah it's okay Ctrl S to save your project. Cool. So select rectangle to select rectangle to go here, draw. Click here, click this place. 
select color from here i want to add a sh add shadow under under him so that it will, you, you won't be seeing this down this is trousers trousers enter go to five blow gushen blow this is okay control s to save so remember my my blow is 179 in case you want to do your own which okay so next thing is um, let's add small little design to this this Big color from here. So, Control J to duplicate it. Then use use down arrow to shift it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's change the second one to white. Hold hold Control and select this. Reduce the opacity. It's okay. My, op my opacity is 26. So if you select the two of them, change the opacity to 26. Control S to save. So let's type in the test. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Change this to white. Increase the font size. Con enter. Take this under this picture so that you go to you go to, you go to, you go, to, you go at the back of the picture. So let's change the font. Okay. Okay, let's change the font. The font, the name of the font is birthday. So I'll, I'll, I'll also embed the link so I'll be able to download them and use it and use it in use the use it for your project, own project. Hit enter. Double click on this happy birthday. Go to outer glow. Change this to yellow, something like this. Yellow. Add drop shadow. My drop shadow is opacity is 49. Multiply. Yep, the color should be this. See the color code 552800. Uh, the one should be like that. Outer glow, my color is yellow. Opacity is 49. Blending mode cream. Size is 57. That should be okay for you. Then type in the running test. Oscar. Enter. Let's change the font to this ox cross bread. Control S to save. Control T to transform. Right click on the layer. Select skill. Then over over to these points. Then drag it up. Enter. This is okay. Increase it a little bit. Enter. It's okay. Control S to save. The next next thing is to type in the date. Zero eight March twenty twenty three. So Control T to transform. Enter. Then highlight this. Only this. 
day. Click on this, increase the size. Okay, this is cool. I like this change in three. Increase the size too. Go to this place, shift down. This is okay. So let's highlight the day. Change the color to this. Select this. Control T to transform. Skew. Enter. Bring it down a little. Control S to save. So let's um, bring in our video, which which is. Can get you can get you can get anyone online or you can use your own. So, paste it here. Let's change the font star maybe to this for now. So, if you want to change the color to white, click here, change it to white, bring it up. Ctrl T to transform, change the size. Let's break this. Like to be to be able to enter here. Break. 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 Click here. Ctrl T to transform. This is okay. Ctrl S to save. So graphic dangerous. Let's change the font. Control T to transform. Control S to save. So let's um, enhance our design. So let's match all this layer to one layer. So to do that, hold Control Shift Alt, then press E but E on your keyboard. So. You see the result. All this layer has been made have been merged into one layer. So go to file, camera roll. Increase the clarity. Color me saturation. Increase this. I think this is okay. Control S to save. So this is it. And this will be the end of today's tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also comment on the video and share your thoughts. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.